The five-year development plan with perspective detailed designs was presented to the meeting of tourism leaders in the Andaman region of Phuket, Pangna and Krabi, chaired by the Thai Tourism and Sports Minister, Virasak Kalsarat. The plan was prepared by the Airport of Thailand, or AOT, company in support of tourism for Phuket and its nearby provinces, as the local resorts and residences are attracting more and more international and domestic travelers. The present facility is reported to be able to handle around 6 million passengers per year. The Phuket International Airport General Manager, Wichai Nguyen Lop, revealed to us the latest statistics or numbers for the past 12 months from September 2007 to August 2008, which still showed increases compared to the previous 12 months of flights up 7% at 37,910 and passengers up 10.6% at 5.65 million, hence the long-term need for the planned expansion. Mr. Weecher pointed out that the airport only has 1,300 rye of land, or 520 acres. This is a very limited area to develop. It's very costly for the company to expand, and that it needs to make the best use of the existing space. The AOT, however, has already drawn up designs under its five-year development plan, with an estimated budget of 5 billion baht. The plan has been announced publicly as the Phuket Airport GM explained to us. We are on the plan to build a new terminal uh, and build the airport area for more parking of the uh, aircraft. But to extend the runway now, not, not, yet, not yet in the plan, because it's uh, another job and require more. The plan will be carried out in steps with the completion expected in 2012. He said after the expansion, it would increase capacity to 12.5 million passengers per year until 2017. Weecha also stated that the expansion is comprehensive with many facilities covered to cater for both more aircraft traffic and passengers. He also insisted that the budget should not be a problem once we increase the aircraft, we increase the passenger, we increase the car park too, including uh, the more space for business area to, 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 to do in this area. Uh, actually, actually, the budget is not a problem because uh, we we not uh, report the budget to the government whether they uh, permit it or not. The, the decision made just only at the board of the uh, company. One is made decision, they just uh, request for the approval of the ministry. That's all. Okay. So it's not difficult. Uh, it's it not a problem for the budget or to 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 approve the budget. Okay. <coughs> the tourism and sports minister said he fully supports the ex airport expansion plan for Phuket, as it is one of Thailand's top destination for holiday makers. Will you support that in, in budget or? Of course, uh, as a minister of tourism. Uh, we, we think the expansion of the uh, airport here is uh, very crucial and we would like to see uh, support from all the uh, government agencies, especially the budget from, from central area to, to come down to Phuket because Phuket is one of the best uh, uh, traveling location we, we have in Thailand. However, in the short term, due to rising oil prices as well as the recent protests and blockades, the month of August 2008, compared to 2007, showed flights were down 28% at 2,435, and passengers were down 14% at 420,474. Therefore, Kun Wicha told us that they are discussing this very day, today, Friday, in Bangkok, about incentives to bring more flights back during this low season, like reducing landing and parking fees, similar to the Department of Civil Aviation is reportedly doing for other provincial airports, including Krabi.